Hi, I'm Francesca of My Thrive Chef and welcome to my channel. This is your premier channel for freeze-dried foods and what to do with them. Freeze-dried foods have so many advantages, but today we're going to be talking about convenience and pulled pork. So come on in, come join me in my kitchen. Cue the music. I think pulled pork is fabulous. I just love that you can make so many things out of it besides just sandwiches. You can use it in taquitos, burritos, enchiladas, tacos, quesadillas. You can use it as a topping on pizza or nachos. I do that quite often. It's also good for a breakfast hash or stuffed avocados, stuffed sweet potatoes, lettuce wraps, pasta dishes, rice dishes. You can just do a myriad of things with it. I absolutely love it. So what are some of our options for having pulled pork on hand? The traditional way is to make your own pulled pork. And I actually really like making my own. It's simple enough to do, it just takes time. You cut it with the seasonings you like, slow roast it in the oven overnight for 12 hours. It comes out beautifully. I actually like the crispy, crunchy, seasoned little fat pieces mixed in with the succulent meat. To me, that's perfection. But if it's just the middle of the day and I decide, you know what, I feel like a pulled pork sandwich, that's not happening. So what are some other options? If I'm in the mood to splurge, I go to my local butcher shop. We have one nearby and they smoke and grill their own meats. But that's like $11.99 a pound, so I don't do that very often. Some of the local grocery stores will carry options. This is something I happen to pick up from Trader Joe's. It's a heat and eat version, so it's the meat and sauce included. So this package is 16 ounces, about four ounces of it is sauce. So it's designed for three servings. So if you don't need too much, this is an option for you. The only thing to be aware of is ingredients. And this may or may not be important in your family, but this sauce that comes with it, the second ingredient after water is sugar. There's also corn syrup, maltodextrin, and dextrose in here. So those are things we can't have in our family. So just be aware, always read labels. That brings us to Thrive Life freeze-dried pulled pork. Now I do use Thrive Life for most of my freeze-dried meats needs, simply because they are the best that I've tasted. Now, freeze-dried in this case simply means the meat's been cooked, then cooled, flash frozen, and just the water is taken out. That does no damage to the food, no damage to the nutrition, and makes it shelf stable with no additives and no preservatives. You can see here on the ingredients, it says pork, flavoring, and salt. Now, in this case, flavoring means the juices that come out of the pork while it's cooked are then taken on their own to cook down and reduce to concentrate that flavor. Then the concentrated juice is added back to the meat for an extra layer of flavor. So you're getting nothing but good quality meat here. So how do you use your freeze-dried pulled pork? This is what it looks like when it comes out of the can. Now it's been cooked so you could eat it that way if you actually wanted to. You take the amount you want, whether it's enough for one serving or ten, and then you're going to add hot water to it and wait a few minutes for it to refresh. And this is what it looks like when it's had a chance to refresh. And this is what it looks like when it's refreshed and has barbecue sauce on it. And this is where the convenience of freeze-dried really comes through. You can decide on a moment's notice that you feel like a pulled pork sandwich and you can have it in minutes without compromising on price, flavor, or nutrition. So how do you get your hands on freeze-dried pulled pork or any of the hundreds of freeze-dried items that Thrive Life carries? Use my link in the description box below. Once I discovered Thrive, I was so impressed with the foods that I had that I signed up as an independent consultant. So if you use my link, you'll get a discount off the retail prices. And if you have any questions about any of the food items, my contact information is in the description box below as well. Just give me a shout. If you'd like to hear more from me, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That way you'll be notified the next time I roll out a new video. Bye.